Let's talk about dating culture. Mm, yeah. <laughs> what is there to talk about? Well, I think dating has changed over the past years and centuries quite a lot, uh, as you all know. And I don't know if it's harder or just more problematic nowadays because we seem to look for like the perfect partner and the perfect fit and we tend to look for red flags and icks and all of that and it's so crazy that we even have these words that developed um, for specific behaviors and characteristics over the years. I think it's so crazy because we used to call things that are not pleasing cringe and now we call them ick and let me explain like what an ick is if you don't know it um but you probably have heard it on tiktok or somewhere else on social media so an ick is pretty much something someone does where you get a repulsive feeling about them if you were in a romantic relationship with them or getting to know the person um, on romantic terms so for example you are dating this guy we call him Taylor and he I don't know is like you go out with him and a group of friends and he can dance and he's very weird and you feel like everyone is looking at you and because you're with this guy and you get a very bad feeling and you kind of want to pull away from the situation and you don't feel comfortable being seen with him anymore because of this thing that he did of this let's say he did like a weird movement like weird dance he wasn't good at dancing or Sometimes it could be like someone um, doesn't like your favorite band or just makes weird jokes or just anything where you feel like you're pulling away and it can be a very minor thing and oftentimes women uh, experience it. So even I feel like skinny jeans could be an ache, um, just anything. And evolutionary, I believe if there would be a reason why we feel like that would be because if someone does something that would put you away from the tribe that you're with or just exclude you or wouldn't make you able to collect and gather things like if you're a man like that was the main thing they were doing and if this characteristic that he has the egg would limit the collectiveness and gathering uh, of food um, you would probably pull away because you don't want your kids to be raised by someone like that and obviously you want to have the support and just um, enough food and then also you want to have the tribe that is protecting you so if he would you know um, heard that um, yeah that would be a reason to break up um, or not even choose him as your partner um, nowadays it's of course not that deep I mean you can support yourself uh, without a tribe and without a partner if you want to but still I believe there might be some reasons why you're pulling away i mean as a woman we are still looking for quality or quantity that's a big difference between man and woman um it's just biology and evolution but you want the best possible partner that matches your dna so your kids have the best possible combination and then good life so you might can explain a deep meaning behind something why you don't like something about him but it might come back to just trying to choose the best version <laughs> um but obviously it does vary a lot like some people are not so picky 
or don't see so many eggs I remember like talking about my personal experience it might be so um, how do you call it so so mm, narrow and so not meaningful but I just don't like if a guy wears like skinny jeans like I can't do with that because I feel I don't know I don't know I couldn't even find like a good explanation and it's you know dumb actually uh, I admit that because it doesn't you know tell you anything about them I mean it does tell you something about their style and because I'm into art and music I'm like yeah I don't like that but it's not that I wouldn't talk with someone or would be friends with them but I don't know like it just it's just so out of style I feel like that I'm I would be like Oh, did you miss the past 20 years or whatever? But it's not like, I don't know, I used to be very, I don't know, very picky with that. But also, I would say, so since a lot of the things, a lot of what you see as a red flag and as it comes back to your attachment style, I figured out this has a lot to do with my attachment style because there are like four main different, uh, attachment styles and there's this book called Attached. I haven't read it actually like completely I haven't finished it but uh, it's really good I I will probably put it uh, in the description mm -hmm. link um, okay. anyway so I found out that my attachment style I think it's called avoidance and your attachment style is built when you're a baby um, so yeah it it pretty much goes back to your parents or whoever had you when you were a baby. Um, so I kind of, I feel like for me it's hard to uh, be emotionally available for a long term relationship or getting to know someone deeply because I pull away very fast if I see something that I don't like because I am afraid of getting hurt if I invest more time and that's why I'm gonna be like okay this might be a minor thing right now but it could probably be something bigger and it might be the reason why we would break up in four years you know like something like that I mean I'm exaggerating right now but um, this is something where you could be like okay if the guy was born uh, two months before you you cut him off because it's just not a thing for you I don't actually like I don't think like two months are a big deal <laughs> so I wouldn't care about that but you know like for some people it's very important or some boys don't like astrology girls or girls that have fake nails or whatever like it's all very it's not that deep honestly and I feel like that's a generational problem because I don't think people back in the days would think about their relationship partners like that I mean you didn't have fake nails in the 50s so that would not have been a problem you know and just things like that and I also feel like people didn't care about I don't know, didn't care about fashion. I want to say that, but nowadays you have so much more possibilities with your style and with your hair. You can dye it, you can do crazy things, you know. I mean, you could do that 10 years ago as well, but, you know, 50 years ago it was different. Um, so, I think we shouldn't put so much energy into seeing red flags and making a TikTok trend out of it. Like nowadays everything is so social media um, founded, created. And I don't think that's good because it puts so much energy and attention towards something that shouldn't be a problem. Um, and nowadays it's also like you meet you can meet people literally sitting at home through your phone so we might not have the 
urge of like finding someone which you shouldn't have but it's like you can easily find someone new if you don't like what you got or if you feel the ick or see a red flag I'm not saying you should because obviously it takes time to get to know someone and like a look shouldn't be a problem or I don't know if they don't like your favorite movie like that shouldn't be a reason to break up obviously or just uh, not even getting to know them but again that has to do with your attachment style so if you're an avoidant attachment style you will avoid getting close to someone because then they are able to hurt you and you want to stay like a independent so being aware of your you attachment go, style is very good um that doesn't like necessarily mean that you're not open for it and I also feel like your attachment style, I, I don't know if it can necessarily change because it was created when you were a baby, but you can be aware of it and work with it and, you know, uh, don't self-sabotage you because you're gonna be pushing you towards opportunities and possibilities to meet people and maybe sticking with them to actually get to know them and then you can still decide if you want to hang or not you know and obviously it's also on the other person as well um but yeah i mean everything pretty much goes back to our childhood belief patterns and just who you are like getting to know yourself will help you navigate that but yeah i i try to not talk in this uh you know red flag language i just call it like that like i don't want to be like oh yeah that's a red flag like i saw this and that like i, I just don't want to think so negative i want to have an open mind but also i'm saying like don't um see like the person that you're engaged with as like the possible version like don't see the possible version of them and the possible future you could have and don't romanticize the person like always try to just stay unattached as long as possible to have an objective opinion about them but also give the person time uh, and yourself as well to see where it's gonna go so yeah um i just hope you don't have so many unnecessary eggs like I don't like this hair color or this eye color or whatever like because it just limits yourself from maybe meeting amazing people and like this video is also a reminder for myself so yeah just sit with it think about it and remember you tell the universe what you want and act like you have it so if you you know are into hookup culture you're pretty much telling the universe you want to have that right now and you're not looking for anything else and if you focus on yourself you will attract the right people regardless like i do believe in that and i made other videos about that topic so check it out and yeah I hope I overcame most of my weird aches. I don't know. Um, and obviously, we, like, you know, when you're thinking about the person that has a red flag, you probably also have a red flag. I don't, I don't even know, like, what my red flags would be like. I mean, obviously, that's, like, very, uh, it just depends on the person. Uh, I could probably think about some things, you know, like, just <laughs> things that are not perfect but that's the thing we are all human and we all have some major imperfections honestly that's just how it is um and you have to learn how to love your imperfections and also the other people's imperfections and you might not even see the imperfections that they think they have so yeah um but I'm just gonna stop this video here because it's it was supposed to be like a general thing um, but yeah definitely let me know what 
your ick is, if you have one, if you experienced it before, if you have any red flags or <laughs> what you could think of as a red flag and just in general, um, yeah. Let me know any any questions you have and like any topics, any recommendations, what I could talk about is much appreciated and yeah, see you in our next video, bye bye.